The thing that we all yearn for is a more simplified life, a less complicated life, and organization is something that can help us achieve that simplified life. But part of getting organized and part of simplifying is letting go, and that is the one step that really keeps us from getting organized or kind of unraveling the complication that we've brought into our lives. And why is it that letting go is such a stumbling block? Well, because letting go sucks, <laughs> basically. It just doesn't feel good. Because when we hear that we need to let go, we hear that we need to sacrifice or that we need to um, live with less or we're gonna have less. And so we equate letting go to kind of lack or a lack mentality and oh well I can't have things or you know I can't go to stuff because I'm not just talking about letting go of physical things I'm also talking about letting go of um, obligations that have creeped up on the calendar and have cluttered it all up and you're busy I'm just I'm so tired of us talking about how busy we are as a society and it's time that we um, un unhurry we've got to unravel from this busyness and the one and only way to do that is the word starts with an N and ends with an O we have to start giving out the the word no and it's the same with letting go is we've got to let things go. We've got to let go of bad habits. We've got to let go of expenses that um, don't serve us. So buying things just because maybe we're bored or because maybe it just feels good to go shopping, but we really don't need those things. Or saying yes to stuff that makes us feel pretty good, but then the day comes and we have to do the thing and we're kind of looking for ways to get out of it. I don't know if you've been there, but I certainly have. And so letting go is the stumbling block to getting organized and to living a more simplified life because we don't know how or we don't want to sacrifice. We don't want to go through that emotion of understanding what we've purchased and why we didn't use it or what it means about us. And I teach on this over and over and over again. You know, letting go is not just do I want this, yes or no, but it's all the maybes, the what ifs, the shoulds, what this means about me, does this mean that I'm um, wasteful, does this mean that I'm never gonna play golf again, does this mean that I'm never gonna play tennis again, does this mean I'm never gonna scrapbook again, well what if I wanna pick this up later and then I have to buy it again and that means I'm being wasteful once more. There's so much kind of underneath that letting go and that's really what keeps us busy it keeps our houses stuffed or at least maybe not all of it but it keeps it to the point where we don't come in and feel relieved in our home but a little bit more overwhelmed about all that we have to do and it also keeps our bank accounts and our credit cards um, full of purchases that maybe we really just didn't want or need or that don't fill us up